Oh shit. Uh. Wrong weapon. Will you just die? Man, that guy's a son of a bitch to kill. Welcome back, everybody, to Enshrouded. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, uh, we are going to go unlock a couple of legendary uh, loot farming locations. Um, so let's see. I have uh, been in a situation where I didn't really have uh, enough time to to record a full episode. I had you know uh, little spots of time here and there to to play. Um, and so what I did was I just spent that time uh, repeatedly farming for legendaries uh, because I, I want to, I, I think I want to get into the full elder set before uh, we attempt uh, the Highland Hollow, uh, whoop, Highlands Hollow Halls. I'm pretty sure we could do it okay in this set, but I'd prefer to, you know, be in, in maxed out gear for that. And especially, you know, once we get to the Kindle Waste Hollow Halls. Uh, so what I have done is I've gone here. Let me just show you the locations first. In fact, let's just let's just go run to them real quick. So we've gone up to the Northeast Cave um, multiple times and... Um, farmed the there's two chests in here and i've already showed this to you guys in an earlier episode this location but uh in case you didn't see that episode um this location is really nice for farming because it's completely safe there are no enemies well except for a couple uh, a few bugs at the end which are not a big deal there's no shroud um and the chest is pretty much just here for the for the taken and so um let's see what it has in it right now Okay, so we have an epic undergrowth staff, but as you can see, I actually found the the legendary undergrowth staff uh, in this chest uh, a little uh, earlier today when I had a, a little bit of time to play. Um, so this obviously uh, we don't need because we got the legendary. I've got it fully maxed out, um, and this is one of the, this is probably the best staff in the game in terms of mana regeneration. Not necessarily the the best complete overall best staff, um, but uh, it's one of one of the top staffs or, or staves, I should say. So, and then I usually come through and you know just kind of loot some of the basic stuff. I'm not going to do that right now, of course. And then uh, we'll run back and hit the silver chest as well and see what we get out of that. But uh, yeah, so so basically finding this um, undergrowth staff after several times farming in here, and I also found um, the legendary scorching wand and upgraded that all the way. To level 30. I've found several other things too, but those are the two real significant things. Um, you know, things that I'm actually gonna use um, you know, by running, doing this little run. And I've also done um, the Sun Temple, the Haunted Sun Temple run many times too. And we'll go, we'll just go run that real quick as well. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I think I found this staff in, in the Haunted Sun Temple now that I think about it. So let's uh, just get these bugs out of here real quick. The red one is the, the real dangerous one. And then uh, we'll check this chest here real quick. Okay, we got the meat chopper. Um, I'm generally not saving anything that isn't legendary. Um, I can't think of any reason why I should save this, so I'm going to salvage it as well. Uh, if I am finding really good legendary weapons, though, that e even if they're like melee, I'm hanging on to them for, for the moment. Um, just in case, you know, we might want to play around with a different build at some point on this character later. I'm not necessarily planning on that, but you never know, right? Um, okay, actually, we can stop. We don't have to run all the way out of here. Okay, so the other farming spot that I've gone back to uh, three or four times 
is the Sun Temple, the Haunted Sun Temple, and just running in there and there's two chests in there um, also that we can do. And for in here, let's go ahead and make sure we're buffed up because this fight's of course gonna be a little more challenging. We'll just refresh all of that stuff and um, we'll take a shroud potion even though we're not gonna be in here for that long. Okay, so let's just run this one real quick. And then, like I said, um, in this episode, we're going to unlock a few more places that I can continue to farm off camera uh, with the intent of eventually, you know, getting the full Elder set and, may, and you know, and some other stuff, t uh, other sets too that we might play around with at some point with different builds and whatnot. Um, the other thing that I am planning on trying out is um, I want to try out the okay, he's dead uh, I want to try out the light burst spell because I have watched somebody else on YouTube use that spell as a mage to um, surprisingly good effect in the hollow halls and I want to try it um, uh, which is uh, you know another reason why I want to make sure we're in really high you know the best armor that we can be in because you know that particular method uh, does you know you do get hit and so I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can make it work you know with just a almost a pure mage build and if not we might have to respec a little bit and put some points into like health and uh, armor and stuff like that but we'll see if we can make it work with just a pure mage build first uh, all right let's put fireball back on normally I would stop and loot those guys but I'm not actually worried about it right now okay, hold on just a second Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I got uh, I got some stuff going on in real life uh, with my father. Um, some medical, serious medical problems that I think we're on the verge of being out of the woods on. <laughs> um, yeah, he just had a, a, a major uh, surgery today and I've been at the hospital for most of the day with him and yesterday too. And that's that's kind of what's been going on that's caused a, a change in the normal schedule and um, his surgery went fine but you know there's still the re the full recovery time that we have to wait on so I'm, he's mostly out of the woods we'll put it that way but not maybe a hundred percent so hopefully that all goes well okay let's go ahead and pop this I can usually knock this place out in about five minutes if I'm just going for it, but I'm, you know, kind of yapping at you guys and had to look at that uh, message that I just got. So uh, there is a just a normal basic chest down here, but you might as well grab it because why not, right? Yeah, this next room has a silver chest in it, and it also has some bugaboos, and we just let our, our aura kill them off. Okay, let's check the silver chest. Okay, that's nothing we care about. We will salvage that and salvage that. All right, let's go in and take out the sickle scythe. Make sure we're on fireball. I can usually get it down before it gets to me if um, it stays kind of lined up. Sometimes it goes off to the side a little bit though. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, that got the job done. Okay, and then this is the big chest. Ooh, nice. Okay, it's not a legendary Ritual Tempest, but it's an epic. And uh, one of the best wands in the game. For 
most people think that, or I don't know if most people do, but I do and a lot of other people do that I play with. Um, ideally, we want to get the legendary, but I'll take the epic also, for now anyway. Let's run back out of here. Like I said, I'm not going to loot these guys. Normally I would if I was just doing it myself, but I want to get through this so we can get to the new stuff real quick. Okay, we're out of the shroud here. Uh, let's just run back home real quick and get refreshed on everything. Let's get uh, repaired here. And uh, we wanted to look at... Uh, we don't care about this, so let's salvage that. So this is a this is a level 23, um, and it's just going to do a massive shit ton of shock damage, and it gives us mana regen too. So I think I think what I'm going to do is all right. So this is 44, and that's 47. I mean the, the mana leech is kind of nice on this too, but I think I might replace the frozen core with the shock wand but i'm going to keep the fire wand at least until we get the legendary uh, ritual tempest i've got gobs and gobs of i mean i got over a full stack of, of runes so i don't care you know it's not like we're going to run out of runes anytime soon so we might as well upgrade it and use it until we find the better one okay okay so that's actually now 50 damage um, so it's already has more base damage than the frozen core one does. A um, little bit less mana regeneration, but mana regeneration is not really that big of a deal with a wand anyways when you're using it. I mean, it's nice to kind of replenish your mana, you know, temporarily while you're, while you're, you know, until you switch back your stat. But, you know, this has some mana regeneration, so it doesn't suck. All right, um, let's see here. As you can see, I have uh, placed a couple of huge uh, chest here in the kitchen. This one has prepared food and potions. This one has raw food. And then out here in the warehouse, I have set up um, uh, uh, basically eight um, of, of the of the huge chests here uh, with all the different stuff in it. And uh, so far, we have plenty of room with this. Um, I'll probably will add a few more of these later. And of course, I left all of those over there. That Everything that's in those chests are things that don't necessarily need to be in a magic chest because, you know, we're not really going to use them for crafting anything. Um, so let's put this in here. Um, this is my weapons chest. So here are... Here, let me put this sickle scythe head in here. So yeah, we've run the Sun Temple five times... The Haunted Sun Temple five times now in total. Um, all right, so let's look in here. The So I did find this root staff. It is legendary, but I don't think it's as good as the undergrowth staff because this is all just pure massive mana regen um whereas this one is very good with mana regen but it also has you know like poison damage which you know whatever um and precise which isn't bad but you know i, I think i'd prefer the undergrowth i also found this twisting wand which does shroud damage uh the wolf's maw uh we found the deep root axe and I found the Mirage, which is pretty cool, but, you know, it's Shroud magic damage. So uh, I'd prefer, I think, to have the, uh, uh, you know, the mana uh, from this one as opposed to this one, even though this has a little bit more damage. Found the Lumen Shade Axe, the Nova Sword, which is really cool. Um, and, yeah, so those are kind of the weapons that I found. Um, as far as armor goes... Uh, I've, I've found the, the Gloom Monarch chestplate, a bunch of the Hawk pieces, uh, the Gloom Monarch helmet, Guard of the North. Well, yeah, that was already there anyways. Magician trousers and some other stuff. Uh, oh, and the, yeah, the Gloom Monarch trousers. So, yeah, I mean, if we wanted to do a Gloom Monarch set at some point, this, this does give mana, but I, I don't think this is really, I don't know, is this considered a Paladin set? Not really sure. I don't think so. I think it's mostly just a melee tanky tank set. Uh, okay, so let's see here. We need to make sure we're prepared with a couple of things. Let's... Uh, no, not you. You. I uh, want some Shroud Survival Flasks. We need um, some Antiseptic, which I should have in here. Even if you know how it's done. And we need some Shroud Liquid for this too. And... Yeah, let's make 
let's make five of these for now. And yeah, I'll put that and that and that back in there. Or no, not that. Okay. We got 13 elixirs, four flasks of the fell. Um, what are we missing here? Oh, we need more shroud liquid there. So that means I must be out in my, um, uh, my alchemy chest out there. So let's just make a few more of those. Uh, how are we doing on wisps? Pss, 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 pss. We have, I have eight wisps. Let's make um, a couple more of those. Um, mana potions, health potions. Um, we've got 17 of the 400 health. I think that's fine for now. And I don't really need, I very rarely need to use mana potions just because, especially with this, you know, with this staff here, man, it's just mana's like crazy. Um, okay, so I think we're good to go. And so our first order of business is to get to the um, the spire. And this happens to be the closest. Eh, the spire's kind of right over in here. Yeah, let's just go to this one here. Oh, I did go through East Lapis and um, to... Uh, what the hell is that place called? East Lapis, Ocean's Heart. Yeah, and, and I took out the boss. It was a super easy fight. I did I did record it, but I mean, I, I just stood up on a ledge and nuked her. Um, and so I probably won't show that on camera because yeah, we've already done that. Okay, so let's just um, let's get healed up here. We got a greenie over there. Let's let's ice ball him. And then we'll just switch to this and zap his ass. This, this wand, the legendary version of this wand is just amazing. I have it on our multiplayer server. Um, so definitely looking forward to getting it here. Um, you know what? Let's just let's just move. I'm, not, I'm just going to bypass these guys because I want to get going here. Uh, yeah, we should be able to go down through here. I should have... Yeah, I've got one more altar that I can do, but probably the two places I'm planning on opening up are the the far, far, far eastern Sun Temple and the far south Sun Temple, both of which we can easily fly to from the spire. So we don't necessarily need to put down a um, an altar. If we do, I'll probably put it at the Sun Temple with the the southern sun temple with the glider just because uh there's a bunch of chests in that area get topped off here oh shit you know what it's gonna get dark on us isn't it well damn it it always happens to me man i, I set off and then it gets dark <laughs> and i didn't i didn't make an altar either did i oh shit well get nuked I'm not going to be able to get that off on time. There we go. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. Yes, so we'll go ahead and loot these guys for the eggs and all that stuff. Okay, let's do this. Let's um Let's get some stone off of these guys so we can just make an altar and come back to where we left off. All right, I'll see you guys back here in the morning. Okay, let's take this altar down and keep moving towards the spire. Um, yeah, okay, I think we can get over there from this direction. You know what? Um, can I move through the shroud here? Where are we at? I almost wonder if maybe I should have started from up here instead, because then it's up on that plateau already. 
I'm not 100% sure I can get up there, actually, and the more I think about it from down here. There probably is a way, I, but I don't know what it is, and I don't want to spend a million years trying to figure it out. So I'm going to go back here and just start working my way down uh, to the spire from this location. And um, I'll either cut some of it out or, or do a time lapse or something so it doesn't take too terribly long. I think we can probably glide down to there and then walk up around that plateau in front of me and get there. I think I'm not a hundred percent sure about that, but that's that's the plan. <laughs> We're gonna give it a try and see what happens here. All right, here we go. You know, I don't have the the ghost glider yet, so um, I can't quite get all the way over there. All right, so we made it across. Hmm, maybe we can't get up there. Shit. Okay, well, let's go around this way then. I have not spent a whole lot of time uh, in this very far, far eastern part of Kennelways. If that wasn't already apparent to you, I'm not super familiar with it, so... Yeah. We're in the level 30 territory with these guys. Let's go... Yeah, let's avoid them. And go up and around this way and just see what we might be able to do. In fact, I, I don't even know if I've ever been in this specific area before. It's possible. Here's the South Sun Temple. That's one of our destinations. But I'm hoping we can, you know, kind of come around this way and figure out a path up the spire I've always approached it you know coming from the north side in the past so is there a passageway through there to get up there I wonder It kind of looks like there might be, but I couldn't say for sure. Get wrecked. Okay, well, um, we might need to go to a plan B here. Oh. I didn't know that chest was there. That's a level 25 item. Hmm. Maybe we ought to set this down here and leave it here and check this spot. Oh, you know what though? Shit, no, we can't. We can't set it that close. Is this actual stone? It looks like it. Yes, it is. Okay, yeah. We can't set the altar close to the chest or it won't respawn. So let's uh let's bring it back down here. And this could like I said, this is, could just be another place that we could come and 
just farm regularly. Enemies nearby? Where's enemies? I don't see no enemies. Here we go. Okay, yeah, let's just leave that there. Um, we don't need this one here anymore. So we could, we could remove that. I want to keep this one by the Sun Temple for now. We don't really necessarily need that one anymore either because we have access to the Nomad Highland Spire to get us there. Um, and yeah, that's my elixir farming spot. That's home. We probably don't need the Revelwood hollow halls, except for I have gone back there a couple times just to farm some ectoplasm shards. So I don't know if I'm ready to quite get rid of that one. So I would s definitely this one we don't need. Um, and probably not even this one. If we're going to keep this one here. But, um, yeah, I'll, I'll worry about that later. Let's, um, well, actually, I kind of need to worry about it right now because, uh, let's see, where was that one? This one. Let, let's go pick this one up. Because I think I am going to maybe, you know, leave one down by the South Sun Temple also. Okay. While we're here, let's just refarm up enough stone to build another one since it's easier to get here. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, let's go back to here. What is this? That's the Bone Shard Excavation Camp. Hmm. I wonder if we went back to here and crossed over... Yeah, I think there's a way to get over to this side, and then we could just come up to the thingy here. I think. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's let's just continue moving on to the South Sun Temple, and let's get the Ghost Glider, because then that's going to allow us to fly further anyway. And yeah, I'll just use this as a nice little farming spot. Uh, if you guys didn't know this already on a single player game, and I think it might be this way on a server too, but all this stuff will reset in about 30 minutes if you don't log out. If you log out, then of course it resets all automatically. Is this um one of those buried tomb places, I'll bet? Probably have to dig down to get into it, but yeah, I'm not... I don't think I want to mess with that right now, since I don't know for sure if that's what it is. Let's see if we can get up here on this high spot and then we'll head on down to the South Sun Temple and get our ghost glider. Man, this wand is badass and this isn't even the legendary version of it. Okay, let's do it. So for those of you who don't know, that town down there has two um, level 30 Matron bosses that you have to fight at the same time, plus a bunch of bad guys, including greenies. Um, but we're not we're not going to do that, at least not right now. I've already done it both on my season one single player game and also on multiplayer. Uh, we might we might do it at some point later, but right now um, we're just after the uh you know getting this farming spot set up and getting the legendary ghost glider okay so let's hop up here 
And yeah, okay. And then, so let's see if we go in here. Uh, what I think we have to do is go here and break this. Okay, and then what we want to do is glide over to here. And if we go up. And we avoid that dude. Go up these stairs here. Open this door. Like he's stuck, so he can't get to us. Uh, all right, and then oh, okay, maybe he's not stuck. He's gonna wish he was. Okay, then we zippity doo dah up here, and here's the ghost glider. Huzzah! All right, we just got the best glider in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Let's equip that. 250 spent range, 25 speed, 4 stamina per second. Um, I might... I might take the extraordinary or even the advanced glider with me into Kindle Waste, though, uh, because one of the things that makes the ghost glider really hard in there is it goes so fast that it's really hard to react um, to, um, you know, to all the maneuvering that you have to do in there. Okay, let's, there's a chest up here. We can nab it, but then we're going to have to get out quickly. Uh, either that or just kill the mob that's up there. I, I suppose we could do it either way. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to get up there, though. Did we come out this way? do we get up there? Probably just missing a grappling hook somewhere. Oh, shit. Ow. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. We come out here. Up onto this, I guess. It's been a little while since I've done this last. Okay, so we're just going to come up here. And we're just going to nuke this guy with our... There we go. And then we'll check this chest. Okay, we got the Sun Axe. Um, but it's not our class, and it's also not legendary. So I think we're just going to salvage that and get a bunch of rune points. All right. Let's go ahead and heal up. Because there's a couple more chests that we can grab while we're here. I just gotta remember exactly where they are, because again, like I said, it's been a little while since I've been in here. Whoa. Stop it! <laughs> okay, so let's go back down here. And I think we want to go down lower. all the way down? I don't remember. I know there's at least two more really good chests in here. They're probably down lower, though. Ow. Yeah, there's one right there. Oh, shit. Wrong weapon. Will you just die? Man, that guy's a son of a bitch to kill. So here's one right here.
Where are you going, man? Okay, let's see what we get in here. Ooh, eagle eye chest. Okay, not our class, but uh, like the premier. How about if I actually loot it? Archer armor. So we're going to hang on to that just for the hell of it. All right, now I think if we go down to here and open this up. I think there's a bad guy in there, but we should be able to... Shit. Where did you come from? And where are you going to? Come here, man! What the hell? I want to kill him because I don't want him sneaking up on me. Alright, now... Let's, um, let's nuke this guy. There we go. And we have another chest in here. Elder Boots. Fan-frickin-tastic. Okay, that's the first, uh, or, or the boots of the set that we're going after. And I think, let's see. Yep. Yeah. Four mana, four mana. So they're pretty much exactly the same as the Archmage boots, except for that they have a uh, one point more of physical and two points more of magical resistance. Cool. Okay, so we found the boots. Now we just need to find the rest of the Elder set. It's not a huge upgrade, but it's a nice upgrade. Okay, I think that's it for the chest in the sun temple itself you know for the significant ones there's a couple down in the town we could go after but if we go down after those then we're gonna have to um fight a bunch of bad guys and i don't think i want to do that i want to see if we can get to that other sun temple before the end of this episode all right so what we're gonna do is let's go let's go all the way back to here And I'm going to take a different route to get up to the uh, spire. Then I, I think we'll get us there. We did all of that without completely refreshing our buffs. All right, let's take this last guy here. Do one of those, one of these, and we're good. Oh, nice. We got a couple of graders too. But yeah, this is like this is like the top end archer set of the game. It's really nice that we found that. Okay, so let's see. I think what we want to do here is uh, let me think about this. We gotta get we gotta cross over to there somehow. Uh, let's go back down through here and just see what what we can maybe see. Oh, yeah, we can't go down there. There's red muckety-muck down there. Hmm. Maybe we can cross over through here. I just don't remember. There is a path leading down that way. So let's follow and see what happens.
All right, we made it. Okay, let's scooch on up to the top of this thing. Okay, we got a door to open up down there. Let's pop one of these. Or no, not one of those, one of these. So we can see a little bit better. Okay, that's the one we need to open. Oh, we need to open both of those. Oh, here we go. Okay. And open that one. Oh, shit. Wasn't paying attention. <laughs> There's spikes on the floor. Here we go. summon. Not a big fan of those, I have to say. Yeah, I think we need to go around here. And up to the next level. Alright, well that's a no-brainer. Go left. That door opens on its own. This one needs two buttons. That one needs a button. Didn't realize there wasn't a floor over there. Whoops. Alright. We just came through there. Is there anything else over here? Okay, that pushes that button. Then we go back out here, and we still need one more button to get that place opened. All right, where the hell is that button at? I haven't, I have done this place, of course, but not enough to have it memorized. Already went over here and didn't see anything. We went in here to push that button, but that only did one. Okay, so let's go back out this way. Oh right, we have the we we can go to the right here. We didn't go to the right. There we go. Okay. Anything out here? Here we go. Okay. And then we got a lava room. Looks very similar to the very first tower. Okay, we got the thingy here, but is there something down here that we're missing? Like a chest or something. Not that I can see. Okay. 
Okay, spike floor. And a jump here. Possible area down there we could go to. Look around for buttons. Let's go over here. I guess that's the way through. But that means there's also a chest in here that we missed. Okay, I see a chest out there. It's just a basic one. But that's good stuff. We'll take it. Let's go around here. There's another button there to open. This is the way we came originally, I think. Came over here, that's the way out. Uh, okay, I think I know what we need to do. Oh, never mind. Deep root axe. Okay, we already have the legendary version of this, so we're just gonna salvage that. Okay. Uh, oh. What is in that room? <laughs> uh, there's nothing in here. Okay. If you say so. Oh, here's a chest. Level 25 blazing wand. Uh, epic. Scorching fire. Yeah, probably not going to be as good as the scorching wand. So, let's salvage it. I mean... Fire, ice armor, and mana leech. Yeah, no. This one might do a little more fire damage overall, but it's, it doesn't have all that other good stuff, so we're going to melt it down. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and get back to the way out. Can I get all the way over there? Yes, I can. And I think we just need to just jump over here and jump over here and go up here. And we've done it. That's depressing. Okay. There is a sun temple down there that we're going to go to as our next and final, at least for now, farming spot. There are other places that we can set up, but, uh, you know, we're not going to have time to do that. So, I don't think I want to go there in the dark, so I'll just meet you guys here in the morning. Okay, let's head down to the sun temple. And this will be another place that we'll farm on a regular basis. I don't think that this place has, if I recall correctly, I don't think that it has um, a boss in it. But it does have, you know, like some high-end mobs, maybe. Oh, shit. There's a greenie over there. Oh, well, let's use Ice Bolt for him. Oh. 
overshot that guy, didn't I? Alright, let's loot these dudes. Is there something up here? I've only been here once on multiplayer and I don't re I'm not so I'm not familiar with it. It goes down there. It says it's a cave passage. Oh, silver chest. Okay, good. Okay, just has a hunter's bow. All right. Well, that could could have good stuff for us, you know, later. So we'll definitely hit it each time we come here. Let's look in here real quick. seen anything okay let's put this on fireball it's a normal chest I believe there's two more sun temples on the map that we can hit at some point. Two, but uh, one of them is a pretty long crawl, as I re as I remember. Okay, let's get this out. I think this one is arranged very similarly to the one. The Haunted Sun Temple. If not exactly the same. Just double check to make sure there isn't anything significant back in these corners. Looks like there might be some basic coffins, but I'm not going to worry about those right now. Okay, we got bugaboos. And you. Get wrecked. Oh shit. Some shroud dudes are somewhere. I don't see them. Okay. So this is a little bit different arrangement than the other temple. Not exactly the same. Uh, let's go around here. Oh shit, we got a red bug. I don't want to get close to him, he hurts. this out. And we'll see if there's anything around on this side. Yeah, we got another door. Uh, I heard an archer somewhere. 
Where is he? Where are you at? I don't know where he is. Okay, let's open this door. And there's our second button. There's also this door, which it, we're missing a button. Huh, okay. We did push the one in here, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, yeah, I don't know where that uh, button is. Maybe it'll become apparent to us later. Let's go down here. Okay, there's a chest right there. Oh. So this is the room we... Ooh, there's a lot of bad guys in there. This is the room we opened up. With the first two buttons. Not even exactly sure what we're killing, but we're killing something. Alright, let's grab this. Shotgun staff. Not interested. Oh, here we go. This is the main chest. Forsaken. Okay. Nice bow, but not interested. If it was legendary, I'd maybe hang on to it or even replace the one we had. Alright, so I guess the only question that I have then is... Yeah, we never really came in here, did we? Those things are very resilient, aren't they? Okay. Might as well loot all this stuff. We get the spores of nothing else. Alright, is this door open? It opens to this room that has nothing in it. What about this one? Normal chest. Uh, that coffin is not lootable. And I think that's it. Shoot, man, you, would, you wouldn't even really necessarily... need to come in here because it looks like this is all just basic loot. I mean, if all you're doing is trying to, you know, hunt for legendaries. There's like nothing in here. And it required a lockpick. Really? Am I missing something? We have a hidden wall. Why would they do that? <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, ooh. There's something up above. Uh, not that I can tell. Huh. Okay. So, yeah, I guess uh, next time I come in here, I'm not even going to bother going in that room. Because this, this was a silver chest, and the gold chest was just somewhere else. I don't think it was in here, was it? We did the silver chest, and then we came around and... Yeah, found the gold chest in here. 
Okay, cool. All right, let's get the hell out of here. And that is that Sun Temple. So yeah, there there actually isn't a boss in here. Um, just you know, a bunch of mobs to kill, of course. So this is basically a three chest place to farm. You got the two chests in there, the gold and the silver, and the, you have an extra silver chest over here. Ow! I just broke my leg. Pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, that's gonna be it for now. Um. I still have another probably couple of days uh, where my father's still going to be in the hospital and recovering, so um, shouldn't really matter to you because I'm actually ahead of you guys by several episodes, so by the time you guys see this episode, I should, I, be, I expect anyways to be back to a normal schedule anyway, and then we'll just keep going from there, but I am going to, you know, probably have some more off-camera sessions just farming these locations. Um, we will continue to farm the Northeast Cave. We'll continue to farm the Haunted Sun Temple. We will now farm this temple, and we will farm the South Sun Temple. And keep seeing if we can build up, you know, to that full Elder set. Um, I also wouldn't mind having the... Um, the other staff... Um, what the hell is it called? I have it on the multiplayer game, uh, the multiplayer series. Black It's the Black Something staff. I can't think of it. Uh, but I really, really like that staff, too. So we'll be, you know, hunting for that. And then whatever other good loot, you know, we can get out of this stuff. Oh, so, okay. So with that being said, thanks, everybody, for watching. hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.